<coughs> hey guys, Thunderhound369 here, and today we're going to be taking a look at G.I. Joe, a real American hero, Cobra Toxo Zombie from 1992. Now, a little bit of housekeeping before I go any further here. I'm having a little bit of difficulty with my desktop PC at the moment, so I'm going to be probably uploading this with my laptop, so it's probably probably going to be uh, no intro for a while until I get the desktop back up and going, since that's where I do all my main stuff, so I'm going to try to use my laptop to upload this one, and it'll probably not have my normal intro, but I am going to get some videos done, and uploaded while it's while I got use of the laptop for now so anyway uh, taking a look at Toxo Zombie I, I've pulled up his uh, file card here it says code name Toxo Zombie Cobra Toxic Disaster Trooper its motto is destroy eat Gimme. Being a Toxo Zombie is the final assignment in the full term enlistment in the Toxo Vipers, known within the ranks of Cobra as the Leaky Suit Brigade. Constant and prolonged exposure to the worst chemical wastes, radioactive byproducts, and toxic sludge have mutated these once normal Cobra Troopers into horribly deformed zombies. They are not quite among the living, but not deceased enough to be completely, to completely rot away. Toxo zombies still have a faint glimmer of the worst aspects of humanity, such as the need to acquire useless personal possessions and the desire to eat things injurious to their own health. That's a little bit of a background about these guys and we'll go ahead and take a look at this little fella here we'll start off with his uh, sludge cannon or whatever now these sludge cannons I'm not exactly sure if this is the one that comes with the toxo zombie or the one that comes with the toxo viper I think they were slightly different colors because I actually found this guy in an old box of figures at my parents house a few weeks ago before I came back up on YouTube uh, reason being because I thought that back in the early 90's just shortly after my wife and I got married I thought I gave away all my old G.I. Joe stuff just to concentrate on my transformers but this little box of stuff just showed up out of nowhere I'm glad it has because there was quite a few vintage 80's G.I. Joe figures in it. The sludge cannon is supposed to have a little black plunger back here. You put this in water, pull it back, squirt your figure and you get simulated battle damage. Water changing, water changes the colors of the figures to simulate battle damage. But I can't find the plunger nowhere any, anyway. So, uh, anyway, we'll go over the, I also found one little bitty display stand. We'll go over a little bit of the details on this guy. And also on this file card, it tells a little bit of detail about the figure as well. It says, uh, shatterproof, non-corrosive helmet you can see it's shatterproof it's corrosive yeah right it's non corrosive As you can see his face it's done all the toxic waste is done corroded through his helmet and his face plate exposing his facial features here zombie eye it also says uh, mindless Mutant unblinking stare. I referred to the eye that I just pointed out to you guys. 
foolproof climate controlling chest chest pack right through here all this has got question marks beside of it, it says solvent with solvent repellent safety gloves As you can see this glove is still intact but on the other hand there's this nice old rotten forearm and hand That's a nice little detail on the rotted flesh, you know, showing a little blood and veins. Chemical resistant battle boots, you know, as you can see, this one's still intact. This one's still intact over here on his right leg, and his left leg's completely exposed from the knee down to the foot. From all the chemicals and hazardous waste and toxic materials eating it away. Leak proof toxic toxin deterring protective suit. That would be the overall suit. As you can see portions of it have been eaten away just here and there. Then the portions that have exposed his hands and feet. What they should have done instead of, you know, both his left hand and his left leg, what they should have done is exposed his left hand portions of his left leg it just bounced it all over pollution damaged deadly mutating skin ultra sophisticated toxin warning computer the number be right through here on his chest plate somewhere. Sludge pack water launcher, that would be the sludge cannon itself. Oxygen purifying breathing tube. Now he's supposed to have like a little backpack that goes on his back for oxygen, I guess. And that would be the breathing tube right here. But I couldn't find the backpack itself. So, like I said, you know, you find something like this in a storage box that you completely forgot about. You never know. So, anyway, I've gone over as much of the detail as they've described on the file card. And we'll go over his, art his articulation real quick. Head will rotate side to side but will not go a full 360 of course it's a little stiff after a few years we'll go up and down arms will go up to here and we'll go full 360 elbows will swivel on the bicep joint just above the elbow and elbow will does have a good elbow joint no wrist movement, no upper chest, waist, we'll go full 360 and got that little O-ring band system in there and if anybody's ever had to replace one of those that are really quite enjoyable to replace let me tell you because I have replaced a couple of these legs will go forward not backwards, we'll come out to the side just to there. Will not rotate at the upper thigh. Knee joint will be into there. And no ankle movement. Overall detail is quite nice on this guy. You know, the mutations, the corrosion, the color scheme is typical with the 90s kind of style how everybody wanted to do everything back then the really bright neon pinks and greens and this guy was a product of the 90's and he's got quite a bit of detail to him and like I said you know the watercolor feature 
I would get some water and pour on him, but since I'm at the table where my PC's at, I've already got enough trouble with it. I don't need water going all over the place right now. So, anyway, final, final result of this little fella here. If you're a fan of G.I. Joe in any shape, form, or fashion, or if you're just looking to add something a little, a little bit different to your collection, if you can find some of these guys on eBay for a decent price, I highly, highly, highly recommend picking some up because these guys are just too cool. With the zombified look, you know, to their face, the overall look of them is just totally awesome. And I'm really glad I found this guy. Because like I said, I thought he was gone, gone forever. Thought I'd give him away, but he just turns up in a hidden box. So I'm glad I found him. I have him on, a, on, on the shelves now. So guys, this is Thunderhound369. This has been my review of the G.I. Joe, a real American hero, Cobra Toxo Zombie saying if you can find them on eBay for a really good price pick you up a handful be a real nice display piece for somebody or anywhere so again Thunderhound369 saying until next time guys I'm out of here see y'all and hopefully we'll get the old PC back up and going really soon see y'all